All right, guys, so I am getting started. It is 8.30 on the dot. Make sure you are sharing this with someone. If you are on the line, please mute out your phone at this time. Go ahead and share this with someone that needs to hear this information. Share, 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 and I'm going to get started as soon as possible. It is 8.30 tonight on this lovely, lovely um, Friday evening, and my name is Stephanie Sanders, and I'm going to get started. So make sure you are sharing this with someone you know and someone that you care about, someone that needs to hear some information about getting out of debt, starting a business, and really um, getting their finances in order. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My name is Stephanie Janae Sanders, and I am EVP Gold with a phenomenal company called My Econ. But this presentation is not about me, guys. This presentation is all about you. So before we begin, I have a couple of questions. Are you ready to learn the truth about your finances? Can you win with your own money? Were you shown how to earn money? Run your own business, leave a legacy, build a real retirement asset? Does your current income allow you to bring in 200 to $500 per paycheck and that's extra? And cash flow your way to wealth. So guys, that these are some things that I want you guys to think about as I'm going through this presentation. So the big question, would you trade $35 a month for your car payment or a portion of your rent or mortgage or even clothing and expenses? No, guys, this is not a get rich quick scheme. No, this is not good, too good to be true. But I'm really asking, would you trade $35 a month for any of these things? Even child care expenses. Well, I know a lot of you are probably saying yes, right? $35 to trade in for, you know, a car note or child care expenses. That's little to nothing. But what are your fin personal financial goals, right? We have two objectives in life. The first objective is to take care of our current lifestyle, right? That's why we get up and go to work every day. You know, we listen to the boss. We do what we have to do, right? Because we want to take care of our current lifestyle. We have to keep a roof over our head and food in our mouths as well as our children's mouth. The second objective is to take care of our future lifestyle. And what is our future lifestyle? That includes retirement, right? The day that we retire. So we work, we work, we work. 30, 35 years, right? We work in order to retire so we can enjoy our future lifestyle. That's most of our personal financial goals, right? That's why we wake up every day. However, a lot of times this doesn't happen. You know, we, we work and we work and we work and then we retire and some of us has to go back and continue working because we don't have enough to retire at that point. So here are some obstacles keeping us from retiring the way we want to. The first thing is called the silent income killer, which is inflation. Inflation is what happens with that bag of chips, right? We all can remember a time when a little bag of chips was 25 cents. Now, how much is that same small bag of chips? Right, a dollar and some change, right? That's inflation. You know, the, the cost of things are going up, but our paychecks aren't going up. So that's a problem for us. The next thing that we have to contend with is high taxes, right? We refer to this as the chainsaw massacre. So what are high taxes? Well, everything is taxed, right? 
You know, some of us are lucky enough to be in some states which we don't have sales tax, right? But you have other taxes. You have property taxes. You have um, car taxes. All these taxes are taking away from our check that we're working, working, working so hard to have. Your check. Another high tax is what comes out of your check, right? We all, you know, we, we want to work when we're young. And then we get this check and we have a gross, right? The gross is what you really made, what you really did. But the net is what you actually take home. So even though you make $50,000 a year, you really don't take home $50,000 because it is your net. And when you look at it, doesn't your net look gross? In comparison to how much you gross, what you take home is nothing, right? Because you have to pay the feds. You have to pay Social Security. You have to pay into all these things. So it's eating away at your check. Another high tax, food, clothing, property, state, local tax, all these things are taxing your pockets. The next thing is debt, right? Not only is the money inflation is going up, we have high taxes, and now we have to pay our debts. Right, you have to pay what you owe. <laughs> so you can't just borrow money and not pay it back. So we have that car note, we have that mortgage. Well, all of that is coming out of our one check, but our check is not increasing at this point. Our check is just being depleted. Something major, big business. And what is big business? Big business is something that you guys are going to participate in whether you like it or not. And a lot of us participate in this unconsciously. So let's just take a look. It is June. We just had Father's Day, right? Next month is the 4th of July, Independence Day. What do we do for that? We have barbecues, right? We buy all these things, the grill, this and that, right? For Fourth of July. Then we have back to school. If you're in the South, you start back to school in August, right? You need a new book bag or you have a college, you know, a person that's going to college, you need to buy things for the dorm. If you're in the North, your school supplies start in uh, September, which is Labor Day, right? We always have a party during Labor Day. The alcohol industry goes up during this time. Why? Because we celebrate Labor Day, fall festivals. Then we have in October, Halloween. You're going to buy the kids some type of costume, okay? You might even go to a costume party yourself. So we're participating. We're still spending. Then we have Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday, all in the same month, back to back, no less, right? And then here comes Christmas. We have Christmas, Kwanzaa, end of the year sales, okay? Then it turns right back around and it goes to New Year's, MLK. So big business are these things that you're gonna participate in every single month. And a lot of times we don't have it to participate, but we participate in it anyway, in some way, shape, or form. It is a systematic, impoverished mindset, which is mindless routine spending. We're so used to these holidays and going out and spending this money, we don't even think about how much in taxes we're really paying. And I wanna let you guys know about something that has happened currently. You may or may not have known about this, but the Supreme Court widened the reach of sales tax for online retailers. Americans have done more and more of their shopping online in recent years. Let's go back to Thanksgiving, right? Instead of standing out for Black Friday, we shop online. You know, I am an avid online shopper, okay? It is way more convenient and more effective for me to shop online. But listen to this. 
Now is drawn by a promise of low prices, wide selection, and buy from home convenience. But e-commerce has also had another edge. Many of those sales were in effect tax-free. So those companies that we've been buying from, Amazon is a major one, right? They do not have to pay taxes. But if you had a brick and mortar store, you had to pay taxes on that. And it was unfair. So it was a back and forth between brick and mortar and then you have your online retailers, how it wasn't fair. So the Supreme Court on Thursday moved to close that, the, moved to close that loophole ruling that internet retailers can be required to collect sales taxes even in states where they have no physical presence. Guys, this is major because guess what? If Amazon has to start paying taxes or Best Buy Online starts has to pay taxes, what does that mean for you? Well, that means another tax, right? Which means the prices have to go up. They have to be able to afford that tax. And when they are taxed, we are taxed. And for more information on this, the actual article, I will be posting it on my Cultivated Minds page. So please take a look at the whole entire article. This is actually from the New York Times. But this ruling has just happened. So be prepared for online prices to actually go up. Now, We have inflation taking our money, high taxes, debt, and big business. All four obstacles are what's cutting into our check, is cutting into our future lifestyle. So when do you get paid? You know, after you pay your debts, participate in all these things, have high taxes coming out, and inflation. So when do you get paid? Well, our company, My Econ, is the personal financial success company. It is a 13-year young, 100% debt-free company based out of Atlanta. It is technology-driven, education-focused, and family-oriented. We specialize in something called income shifting, business building, and passive income. And let me stop at that. Passive income, if you do not know, is the ability to have your money make money for you. And the only way to have, well, one of the ways to have passive income is to invest, okay? When you invest in different things, your money is actually making money for you. And we show you different strategies, how to minimize your taxes. All those taxes that we spoke about in the beginning, there's a way to actually minimize that. Gain residual income, which residual means monthly, it comes nonstop to pay your residual bills. Because whether you have a job or not, the bill collector is still going to call you, okay? It's not going to stop when you get laid off. A lot of companies don't even have a if you get laid off policy, right? So they're still going to hit you with the bill. And what happens when you don't pay it? Well, it it continues to pile up. Our associates here at MyEcon have cash flow over $400 million, okay, cash flow. If you're unfamiliar with the term cash flow, cash flow is measured in time, okay? I myself have cash flow $100,000 through student loan debt, okay? I'm not a $100,000 near, right? I'm not a millionaire, but I have cash flow, the ability to pay off my student loan debt. Okay, when you free up your money from debts, you free up your money from all these high taxes, you can have a positive cash flow, which allows you to do the things that you need to do with your money. So our solution to those four obstacles is a smart cash flow strategies, which are minimizing taxes, eliminating debt, and growing your cash flow. Growing the amount of time that you have to have money in your pocket to survive, okay? Get some cash, create some assets to generate more cash. Cash, asset, cash. 
Income shifting is a strategy that we use to correct our tax withholdings. 80% of employees have too much money withheld from their paychecks for taxes. And if you're unaware, they did change our W-4, okay? The W-4 went from two pages to four pages. And we show you how to read, understand, and comprehend what has been put forth. The IRS had published, uh, published this article in 2016, August 31st, which is my birthday. The IRS has issued more than 102 million tax refunds. The average refund, well over 2,700. By adjusting the form W-4, taxpayers can ensure that the right amount is taken out of their pay throughout the year. Guys, this is an IRS publication. This is not a my econ publication. So by simply changing your form, correcting your form, because a lot of us have it incorrect, we can um, correct our cash flow, all right? Some of us have more money than month at times. The information you don't know is costing you money. Just the mere fact that you didn't know that your W-4 has to be updated because it has changed could be costing you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars yearly. Minimize your take-home pay, which can be used for investing or debt elimination. Imagine if you eliminated your debt, if you had no debt, all of the money that is coming to you is now invested. So you're investing the money that you were paying in debt and you can now enjoy your retirement whenever you choose to retire. So we've all seen these two people, right? We, we saw the debates and our president said, I understand that the tax, I understand the tax code better than anybody that has run for president. He is absolutely right. You may say what you want about this man, and that is fine, but he does understand the tax code. And now we can too. We can understand and use the tax code to our benefit, much like he has. There is no reason why we do not understand it in the capacity as he does, because we have the ability to, and that's what we show you. He said, this makes me smart. Maybe he doesn't want the American people to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes. Well, these are facts. There's a reason why he has paid nothing in federal taxes and is not in jail. He is not a tax evader. He is a, a educator of, well, he has the education of the tax code in order not to pay. So minimizing taxes via home-based businesses. Right, there are 475 tax deductions, 475 possible tax de deductions that you can have for your home based business. Some of us on the line are listening right now, we have a home based business, and we're probably only taking advantage of one deduction, right? But there's 475 possible ones, and this is what we show you and teach you how to read and understand, how to use what is in black and white to build your business. The only requirements of a home-based business is to work your business on a regular and consistent basis, attempt to produce a profit, and to keep good records. Now, we have all of the tools necessary to work your business on a regular and consistent basis. We have the tools necessary to attempt to produce a profit and to keep good records. That's what we provide as a company to you. Now, minimizing taxes. Right now, some of you may have a home office or you're renting or have a home. You do have a cell phone. You may take a trip every year. Meals and entertainment. I, if you're anything like me, you like to eat, right? And I like to eat out a lot. And entertainment, bowling, going to the movie, seeing that new Avengers movie, right? Youth employment wages. Some of you have children. 
Well, I'm here to tell you that as a parent, you can employ your children and we show you how to do that. Now, in this example, I'm going to give you really quickly, this person makes $50,000 in salary without a home-based business. Now, this person without a home-based business is taxed over 30%. So you do the math, 30% of 50,000. Now, I'll put the numbers here for you. If you had a home-based business, everything that you are looking at currently, you can write off as a tax deduction. Your home and office, your cell phone, your travel, your meals and entertainment is the only thing that has changed, but there are ways to, um, there are ways in the tax laws to actually use meals and entertainment. And then your youth employment. So now with a home-based business, the government is only taxing you 18% on 26,850. Well, why is it 26,850? Well, as you can see, we started off at 50,000, right? That was our salary. But these five things that you are looking at now becomes a tax deduction. So now you deduct these prices from the 50,000, which is going to leave you $26,000. You are bringing down your tax liability. So when you look on your tax form and you see that bottom line number, if you made $100,000, but you're able to write off half of that, you're only taxed on that half. Everything else is not taxed. That's what that means. So you're, you're tax less because you're a home-based business owner, 18%, and you're being taxed 18% on less than your salary. So just think about your salary, cut that in half, and then being taxed only 18% on the leftovers. So what do we offer in our membership? Well, it is $20 to join and $35 a month. Now, this $35 a month is actually tax deductible. So that's $420 extra that you can throw on those five things that you were looking at. All of these things are included in this $20 membership, $35 monthly. These are the tools necessary to get you where you want to be financially. Additional products are down here. Now, I'm a big component of buying from yourself. When you buy from yourself, you have the ultimate discount. We provide cash flow manager, which actually helps you log the information and keep the required records that they are looking for. Identity theft protectors, whether you had a loved one pass away, you have a son or daughter, or it's yourself, you want to protect your identity. Identity theft is one of the number one crimes in the USA. Family Shield 360 is the upgraded version of the identity theft protector. Instead of just paying for yourself, let's get your whole family in, which is included in your membership. The Smart Money Kit is your do-it-yourself, and I'm gonna say it again, do-it-yourself credit repair system. No need for you to go out there and pay people to do something that you can do. We show you how to do it here. Now, you can book your own travel and your cash back mall where you receive cash back for those online price um, for those online um, retailers over 200 retailers in the back office now keep in mind what i said about online retailers just think if they go up in their prices wouldn't you want a piece of that pie back all these products here i'm not going to go into it but all of these products here are also products that uh, come with the membership that you can definitely take a look at. Now, our solution doesn't stop with just the membership. If you want to really have a positive cash flow and really get yourself where you want to go in half the time, this $35, $34.95 a month plus one product will generate you 
your residual income, okay? It will generate you your personal, it includes your personal financial success system, minimizing taxes, eliminates debt, cash flow, your, um, to grow your cash flow, you can get some cash, create some assets to generate more cash, cash, asset, cash. All these things are included. And with the addition of one product, one of the products that I showed you, now you're having business income. Okay, guys? So you went from just having everything to yourself to now the ability to share it with those that you love and care about. Now, with this business income, this is how you get paid, right? When you share the knowledge, you come in as a marketing director, okay? If you're familiar with network marketing, this is um, your first level, if you will. You come in at a marketing director. You bring in two people. You make $10 per person. Now, your third person, your third person opens up something that we like to call your base shop. From then on, you make $35 per person. Now, these first two people that you see, you make 50% on all activity in their base shop. So when they get three people, their third person on, you make 50% of that. Now, with these two people, you have risen to the rank of an executive vice president, okay? Now, your base shop is open. So through infinity, every time you bring someone into the company, you make $35. Through infinity, guys. Now, let's take it up a notch. Once you're promoted to EVP, it opens your base shop, right? We understand that. We got that. $35, third person, and then on. Now, when your base shop brings in people, you also make $25 per person that they bring in. And every time their people's people bring in someone, you make $25, okay? Please understand, $35 per person you bring in and $25 per person they bring in and $25 per person that your person person brings in, all right? Hope you can stay with me. Follow the pictures for me, all right? 35, you personally, 25 thereafter for every person your person brings in. Through infinity. So unlike other people, there is no caps, okay? There are no caps to this company. Now, with your promotions, as you grow your team, as you tell more and more people and your people starts to tell more and more people about this, now you have this residual income on your residual bills because your bills will never stop. So why should your income? There's a dollar per person when you're EVP uh, vice president, okay? EVP, um, which is just bringing in your first two people. Now, if you're gold, you make $3 per person, okay? Now, this is residual. When you're platinum, you make $5 per person. And when you're infinity, you make $8 per person. So just think, the more people that you share this information with, the more money that you make. You do something one time and you're paid residually off of that one time interaction. Isn't that great? Like imagine going to work. If you're, let's just say you're, uh, you input data, right? Going to work, inputting data one time and getting paid over and over and over again for that one entry. That's exactly what this is, guys. Getting paid for the things that you do. Through infinity. No caps, guys. Through infinity, all right? Get back with the person that sent you to this presentation and partner with us today. If it is me, Stephanie Sanders, get back with me because I'll be getting back with you. If you are seeing this on someone else's page, get back to the person that shared this with you. You'll get 
the income shifting strategies, the cash flow management software, the identity theft protection, key logging defense, the do-it-yourself credit repair and education, the discounted travel and co corporate perks, free and discounted legal services, and your free cash back mall. A personalized website with our world-class online business system and the financial success membership. All of this for $20 to join. So in the words of my awesome and amazing business partner, stop playing. Take your finances, put it in your own hands, and control your destiny. So for $34.95 a month, you can keep all this information to yourself. But if you want to share it with the world and you really want to generate some business income, it comes out to about $44 a month because you're purchasing the $35 a month plus one of our products. So it's up to you. What would you like to do? Remember, get back with the person that sent you here. Understand that the government wastes no time taking your money. Why would you waste another minute getting it back? My name is Stephanie J. Sanders. I am EVP Gold with the wonderful and amazing My Econ. And have a great and amazing evening. Thank you for your time.